This 3D logo look is everywhere. We are building the logos in Blender 5 using free reusable workflows for almost any logo. Inspired by an Instagram artwork fully rebuilt from scratch. You will need a few assets I'm using. They are free. Link below. 3D objects. Let's start with the Xbox logo with booleans and curves. Switch to the Z view. Drag the Xbox logo into Blender and zero out the location. Now we draw the X shape using the pen tool. Add a Bezier curve. Go to edit mode. Delete the default curve and select the pen tool. Oh, the pen tool can be really annoying. So let's keep it simple. Draw only half of the X. Corners first. Then refine with the move tool. Now we turn this curve in a 3D shape. Switch to 2D mode. Set fill mode to both and extrude to 2. Add a mirror modifier and adjust the merge value. Now we create the base sphere. Switch to the object mode and add a UV sphere. Adjust segments, rings and radius. And scale Y to half. To cut the shape out of the sphere, add a boolean modifier. Booleans only work with meshes, so convert the X shape to a mesh and assign it as the boolean object. Hide the X and we are ready. To create the inner body, duplicate the sphere, remove the boolean on the copy and rescale it in Y. Don't forget to shade smooth. Booleans cause shading issues. Select Auto Smooth to fix it. Bevels don't work here, so we round the edges differently. Apply all modifiers, add a remesh modifier, adjust the voxel size and enable smooth shading. Apply it and switch to the sculpt mode. Use the smooth brush with high strength and a large brush size. Enable Y symmetry so front and back smooth together. The Xbox logo is done. Now let's move on with the NVIDIA logo. This workflow works for any flat logo in Blender. All you need is a clean vector file. But here's a short workflow so you know how to create your own. Search for your logo in black and white. In this case, NVIDIA. To convert the image into a vector file, Use Adobe Free Online SVG Converter. The link is in the description. Download the SVG and drag it into Blender. Delete the background and the text. Then connect the curves for each logo part separately. Now turn the shapes into geometry. Extrude both parts. Convert both objects to meshes. In the end, round the edges using the same remesh and sculpt workflow as before. And we are done with the NVIDIA logo. Now let's build the MSN logo. This workflow is great for more organic logo shapes. Drag the MSN image into Blender. First we trace the body silhouette with the pen tool. Add a Bezier curve, go to edit mode, delete the default curve and draw the half the silhouette with the pen tool. Now we turn the spline into the body. Add a screw modifier. Set the axis to Y and enable merge to close the seam. Add the subdivision surface to smooth the object. Now we create the arms. Add a UV sphere and adjust it to fit. Use this rotation and scale values. Mirror the arm to the other side using a mirror modifier. Use the body as mirror object. And add again a subdivision surface. Transparent materials hate overlapping geometry. So we use the same remesh workflow as before. To start with the workflow, convert everything to a mesh and join it and let's go. Add the camera and set the output format. Add the plane as background. We are done with the 3D object part. Do you want this project file? Support my channel on Patreon. Link in caption.
there you will get access to over 60 Blender projects. With your help, I can continue making videos. Thank you for your support, Art Invaders. Lighting. Now we set up fast, clean lightning. Split the viewport and switch on side to viewport shading 4. First, the base lightning with an HDRI. Switch world mode. Add an environment texture, texture coordinate and mapping node. Load the HDRI from my Patreon folder into the environment texture. Adjust the rotation in the mapping node to control the lightning direction. Now we add a few lights to shape the scene. Add an area light for the ground, scale it to the render region, adjust the power until the light softly fills the bottom of the logo and duplicate it for the top. Add a point light in front, adjust power to 500 and radius to 1, duplicate it as a backlight and adjust power to 100 and radius to 3. Lightning is done. Materials. For this part we use the free add-on Blender Kit. It is a built-in online asset library for Blender that provides models, materials, HDRIs and more. Blender Kit is already integrated into Blender. Go under Edit, Preferences, Get Extensions and search for Blender Kit. And after installation you find it here on this side. And choose Materials. Search for Procedural Silver. And this material you can use for all logos. Wow. Now the glass material. In Blender Kit, search for transparent green procedural. Set glossy roughness to zero for a clean glass look. In Blender 5, transparency is handled differently. Change the render method to blend it. This is a new Blender 5 feature and mandatory for proper glass materials. To give the glass real depth, add a Solidify modifier to the Xbox and Nvidia logo. Use the thickness value to control how solid the glass feels. Adjust it visually. Now we customize the MSN material. Duplicate the material so it's independent. Set the render method to blend it again. Lower the glossy roughness slightly. Add a color ramp with two green tones for more depth. For surface variation, add a noise texture. With texture coordinate, mapping to control the dirt breakup. And again, adjust visually, don't overthink it. This is the EV trick, nobody talks about it. This alone make a huge difference for glass materials in EV. Add a light probe, volume and scale it over the entire object. Bake the light cage. This gives your cycle style indirect lightning inside EV. And yes, it actually work. Now we add the glow. Render one frame. Go to compositing. Add glare. Select fog glow and adjust the threshold. This only shows after rendering. Materials done. Do you find this tutorial helpful? Then please support me with a like, comment or even a subscription. Animation. Now let's animate the logo. Set the timeline to 120 frames and let's go. At frame 0, set a rotation keyframe. At the last frame, rotate 360 degrees on Y and set another keyframe. And yeah, repeat this for the second Xbox part. For Nvidia and MSN, rotate on X instead of Y. And animation is done. Render settings. Finally, let's take a look at the render settings. Set shadow rays to 3 and steps to 16. Under fast GI approximation, set steps to 16. In color management, switch view to filmic. Choose medium high contrast and adjust white balance if needed. This is always a good choice for glowing scenes. In output settings, render video and set encoding to high quality. At this point, you can apply the same process to almost any logo. From here, it's just rendering and export. Do you have any theme suggestions? Write it in the comments. Or send me your artwork examples on social media. I have Instagram and TikTok. You find the link in the caption.
Thank you for watching and we we'll see us in the next week, Art Invaders. <laughs>